I don't think we could have any better conditions. It is perfect. And according to the GPS, we're less than three miles away from our destination. We loaded up, oh, about two hours ago out of my ranch. And we drove down towards the Texas coast on what some people would call a hog hunt. It's not going to really be a hog hunt. It's going to be a hog eradication trip. And I like to call it a nighttime shoot them up bang bang. We're going to have some fun. FreedomMunitions.com, your online ammunition destination presents The High Road with Keith Warren. We hunt for different reasons, but it's more than just the kill. First off, I'm grateful to be an American, to live in a country that still has a country like this. Wide open, wild stuff, and I love it. It's about the experience, freedom, passion, and adventure. For me, hunting is the ultimate pursuit. We need to get out of here. This is danger zone. Who was the big bear? A connection with nature that only a hunter can experience. I've spent my entire life perfecting my skills, braving the elements in pursuit of my prey. The wild is where I belong. I'm Keith Warren, and like you, I live for the hunt. Join me and take the high road. I'm Poth Leisner, and we got Keith here at Rio Viejo Ranch with Running Gun Adventures, and we're about to do some hog hunting. Good to see you. Yes, sir. Always a pleasure. I've watched Keith's hunting shows for quite some time now and always dreamed of taking him hunting. Once I pitched the idea to him about going hog hunting, he jumped all over it and he wanted to come down here ASAP to let some brass fly. My name's Chance Ginelli and I was fortunate enough to meet uh, Mr. Warren down at a uh, SHOT Show last year. I'm an advisory board member for Nemo Arms. I also own my own company, R40 Defense. I'm living in Texas now. I retired from the Army a few years ago, Green Beret from 3rd Group. And with him in Texas, me in Texas, and we both love hunting hogs, we're like, hey, let's get together and kill some hogs. This is beautiful. Yeah. Very, very nice. Running Gun Adventures is a uh, premier outfitter on the Texas coast. My specialty is hog hunts and alligator hunts, but we offer anything and everything that you can hunt. I've been hunting this area since I was a little kid with my father. The hog population down here is out of control. They are an invasive species and they cause millions of dollars of damage. And they're fun, they're enjoyable to hunt. Uh, anytime you can hunt hogs and help control the, the population problem, I, I'm about it. We showed up, the first thing we got to do was say hi to each other and kind of figure out what the game plan is going to be. Uh, next thing was, uh, hey, let's pull out our equipment. And that's always fun. You know, we're using two different caliber rifles. I mean, I'm using the AR-10, it's a 308 platform. And uh, while well, Chance is gonna be using a 5.56, and then, of course, Poth, he's using a 5.56 as well, so. When we hunt these hogs tonight, we're gonna spot them with night vision and thermal equipment. Keith has some awesome Armasite equipment. It's gonna make it way easier. Let me talk to you about ammunition. First off, for the 5.56 or for the 223 that the guys are gonna be shooting, I brought some Boar Buster. It's made by Freedom Munitions. It's a brand new load and it's unbelievable. And you're gonna see how effective it takes down hogs. Freedom Munitions sells new ammunition and remanufactured ammunition. You can't beat the price. They're an online ammunition superstore. And so what I brought is 308 caliber rounds, remanufactured ammunition in a 155 grain AMAX bullet and this bullet is deadly on hogs. So one of the things I've learned throughout my military career as a sniper, anytime I ever fly, drive long distances, or getting ready to go on any type of mission or a hunt, I always check and confirm my zero on my rifle. It's real critical whether you're just going a few miles down the road or whether you're traveling halfway around the country, I would strongly suggest you check zero before taking to the field. Then comes the fun part, keep breaking out the Tannerite. I like to play with Tannerite. I mean, I love Tannerite. So I bring Tannerite because it's a small target. It challenges the shooter. You know, the thing about Tannerite, read the instructions just like with anything else. When you use it properly, you're using it safely. Keep it 100 yards away, make sure and wear hearing protection, eye protection, and have some fun.
The High Road with Keith Warren is presented by Reconyx. 10X high performance hunting gear. Record rack deer and elk feed. Bert Coyote's Luminoc. Supercharged scent killer by Wildlife Research Center, 99%. Tannerite. And Bloodsport, the bleeding edge of archery. The High Road will be right back. Hogs are typically most active at night, using the cover of darkness to their advantage. But tonight, the advantage is ours, thanks to our night vision and thermal equipment. All that we have to do now is wait for the sun to set. Hunting at nighttime has its challenges. First off, we're a new team hitting the woods. There's a bunch of us going out in the field and safety is going to be our number one concern, but as far as learning curve goes, I mean, we have to kind of figure out what everybody is capable of, what everybody is comfortable doing. And so as we set up and we get started with this hunt, we're kind of getting to know each other, kind of understanding what everybody's limitations are and trying to build a successful team. Tonight while we're hunting, we want to have a blast, but we have to be safe and practice gun safety while we're doing so. What we're gonna do is we're gonna ride around and once we spot them, we're gonna stop and we're gonna figure out which way the wind's blowing and then we're gonna put the stalk on them from there very quietly. Nothing sharper than a hog sense of smell. With the wind and some scent killer, we'll be able to close that distance on them hogs. Well, let's do it. Yes, sir, let's go. We weren't on the road for five minutes and we spotted this boar out from about 150 yards away. And when we got up to him, we realized that he was in some tall grass. So every once in a while you're catching like, you know, the top third of his back or you'll see just the rear end or you just see the front end. You know, we just waited and maneuvered a little bit, got close. So when we had the opportunity to shoot him, we did. He's perfect right now. Three, two, one. With breaking nice and getting that first lone board down, that felt real good, put a smile on everybody's face, a bunch of high fives, and uh, we loaded him up and we moved on for our next one. This next group we came up on, uh, it was a pretty good sized group. They had no idea we were there. Um, we get out, we maneuvered up on them. We got maybe, you know, 50 yards from them. Did a countdown, three, two, one, and then the chaos started. shoot those first initial pigs, they go down, they run if they're wounded. The little ones are running around, the bigger ones are running around. That's the fun of it, is the chaos. One thing that's crazy is with these thermals cameras, you can see everything. We had a baby hog that was running. Keith lined up on him. He put a dome shot on him. I mean, it was like, it looked like he had been hit with Tannerite on video. It was like crazy. And now people might say, oh, it's a little pig, but it's still a pig. It's going to get harvested and taken out of the population. It has to happen. We had a whole bunch of them, and I emptied a 20-round magazine, and we got them dead here and here and out there. So are we living up to Texas standards? Yeah, this is good. This is really, really good. A question I'm often asked is, what do I look for when I'm purchasing hunting apparel? I want something that's high quality and it'll hold up in the toughest of conditions. I want something that's comfortable and breathable and moves well with me when I'm on a spot and stalk or climbing into a tree stand. And I want something that's quiet. That's why I choose the 10X brand of high performance hunting gear. And 10X, well, they've come up with a high quality, incredibly comfortable, and ridiculously quiet top end camo outerwear. Give your hunting gear what I call the sound test. Does it swish when you rub it together? Does it crinkle when you move? Because if you can hear it, the deer can hear it too. Most hunters don't take that into consideration when they purchase their hunting apparel. For me, I choose hunting apparel that is specifically designed for high performance hunting. It has to be comfortable, it has to be breathable. It has to fit nicely, and it has to be quality. And it has to be 10X high performance hunting gear. The High Road with Keith Warren is presented by Armasite. Nemo Arms, the entire line of Food Saver Game Saver vacuum sealing systems. BSA Optics, Gamo Adult Precision Air Rifles, and FreedomMunitions.com your online ammunition destination. The High Road will be right back.
Certified Brand Binary Exploding Rifle Targets presents viewer feedback. All right, Jerry from Georgia says, I love your show. I'm thrilled to see you start using ARs to hunt with. Notice you chose Nemo. I've heard that they're top of the line AR rifles and wanted to know if you could tell me three reasons why you feel Nemo rifles are superior over other ARs on the market. What would they be? It goes beyond the rifle. I would say it's their, uh, their customer service and attention to detail to their, to their clients, which results in their engineering capability because they want to produce the best product they can. And when they do that, it works directly into their engineering phase, which recoil reduction, accuracy, everything gets enhanced. Uh, they do a great job. They don't get stale with one model. They just always try to improve. It might be three years between models, but they want to release the best they have. If you're an AR shooter, I want you to know that the Nemo really is the Ferrari of AR rifles. And if I was to be asked about what the number one thing that I think is uh, different about a Nemo, it's the uh, recoil or the lack of recoil. If you're shooting a, even the 300 Win Mag, which is the Omen, uh, there is very little recoil. And as you can see through the video that we're shooting on this hog hunt, when we're shooting the 308, there's so little recoil that you can still stay on your target relatively well when you're shooting a lot. And so anyway, Jerry from Georgia, that's a great question. We're down near the Texas coast trying to put a dent in the wild hog population. So far, it's been a productive night. But the night is still young and we've got lots of ammo. This wasn't hunting again. You know, we are we're trying to eradicate hogs out of this area. Uh, again, these are you know they're nuisance animals. There's no season, no regulation on how many you can kill, but we're doing our part. What ends up happening is the more engagements that happen throughout the night, especially with hunters that never hunted together, you start working better as a team. There's less actual talking, but it becomes more well-oiled. We ID'd one out in the road, probably 300 yards down the road. Uh, we get out. We were just very little talking, followed each other down till we got to where we needed to be, spread out, got online. It was like, okay, everybody ready? Yup. All right, keep counting down, three, two, one, shoot. Three shots rang out like one, and that hog hit the ground hard. When you execute them down like that with well, a countdown drill, you know, three, two, one, shoot, it's just a high probability hit. You know, what if somebody, you know, pulled the shot or it puts the animal down quick, it allows us to pick it up and move on to the next one real fast. So one of the advantages with the thermal capability, you can also, obviously, when they're in the open field, you can see them. Um, when they're in the tree line, though, and they get in the trees, you know, the rocks and the trees, they produce a lot of heat as well. So uh, in the wood engagements, in the woods, it's kind of hard. We got into a pretty good sized sounder, which is a group of hogs, and they, uh, they walk just maybe 10 yards into the tree line. And we get out and maneuver out on them, you know, spend an hour, you know, kind of getting on them. And you can see them, they weren't far in the woods, but we just couldn't get clean shots. and. Uh, you know, it just didn't happen. It seems like the branches and just the terrain, it's too much, too much work to try to get them then and educate them and spook them versus just let them ones go, find them in the open and, uh, or a sole single bore by itself that you can maneuver on. Because if you get them in the open, you know, it's, it's much easier to make more ethical shots. You get less chance of a ricochet off a branch and uh, be able to harvest the animal more ethically. That's a big one. If you're wondering what happens to all these hogs, we're taking them to a real special place because nothing goes to waste. But now, we've got more of them to get. The High Road with Keith Warren is presented by Liberty Safe, OpticsPlanet.com, Darton Archery, Supercharged Scent Killer by Wildlife Research Center, 99%. Blue Rock Outfitters and Shadow Hunter Blinds. Elevators. The High Road will be right back. This seems like some pretty good bullets. I can see that people watching this show are probably pretty interested in thermal gear. Number one, I recommend you contacting Optics Planet. That's who we deal with. They know everything 
about night vision and thermal vision equipment, and if you've got a question about it, they can answer it. The next piece of advice I'd give you is call somebody like Run and Gun Adventures. Book a hunt with them and get out and use the products. Understand how they work, why they work, and, and why they're so effective before you make that purchase that way, because it is a substantial amount of money. You're gonna make sure you can purchase what you really need. You are not going to believe the carnage that just took place in this field. The night is young, and this place is covered up with hogs. This whole region in Texas is covered up. We drove into this little flat. It opened up. There's some big live oak trees out in the middle of it, and there were hogs in here all grouped up at a feeder. We snuck up. The wind was perfect right in our face. We snuck up, got about 60 yards from them, left the cameraman out there behind us, so he should have been able to get us and the hogs, and we went to work on them. This is just one little volley, and Texas has got tons of hogs in it. And in order to keep the population level, where the population of hogs does not increase from one year to another, it's said that you have to kill 70% of the hog population every year just to keep it even. So we're doing our part. Yeah, that's about a million and a half pigs. <laughs> yeah. Well, good thing we got a good ammunition sponsor. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> how can you not like this? Yeah. I mean, how can you not like this? It's just, uh, it's good fun. I don't, I, it's just like, I don't know why everybody doesn't do this. It's just that much fun. So it was getting close to the end of the night and uh, we ID'd this really big boar, you know, and we get out to maneuver on him and we came up on a canal, you know, it's 30 feet across and who knows how deep. Keith had asked me, he's like, hey man, how far do you think it is? And I told him it was probably 350, 400 yards. And I was wanting to go around the creek and sneak up on that hog a little closer and Keith said that he could hit it. I didn't believe him. You know, Keith said, well, I got the 308. You know, he's got the capability to put more kinetic energy on that hog at a longer range. Okay, I'm on him. Here he goes. Hit him. He did. Are you serious? He did. No way. This shot was 300 plus yards, and Keith dropped him on the first shot. Wow. That's Keith's awesome shooting, but in order for good shooting, you have to have good equipment. That's why Keith is using the Nemo 308 rifle. Wow. You know, we've tipped over a bunch of hogs tonight, but this one right here was a, a pretty a pretty good shot. You know, with thermal, it's real hard to tell the distance, and the best we can guess is about 300 to 400 yards out here on a flat. It's a nice big boar. You can take a look at his teeth. I mean, he's got exceptional cutters on him. He's probably 175 pounds. As far as a rifle that I'm shooting, I'm shooting the executive order. It's made by Nemo and the caliber is a 308. As far as the ammunition, I'm shooting 155 grain Freedom Munitions ammunition with an AMAX bullet, and, uh, and it thumped this guy over instantly. Uh, shot placement, as well as the right bullet selection, uh, gets it done every single time. But this is a real good one, and he's not gonna do any more harm to anything. While we're hunting, not only is it about knocking these pigs on the ground, but it's about friendships and camaraderie. I met Chance and Keith two days ago whenever they first showed up here at the ranch. And now after sharing friendships and stories, whenever they leave, I consider them lifelong friends. I wanna to talk to you about Chance for a second. It's uh, no surprise to anybody that's been watching our show for a long time that I really have a passionate uh, spot in my heart for the military. Uh, Chance is a badass, okay? But he's a great badass, and thank God he's on our side. I can't imagine living in a society where I wasn't allowed to hunt. It's just, I, I, can't, I can't even comprehend the thought. Um, it's the enjoyment and the joy of being outdoors. It's the camaraderie, it's the joy of making friends. That's who I am, I'm an outdoorsman. I always will be, and uh, Keith feels the same way, and uh, that's why it's, it's a joy to be down here with him, and I appreciate the opportunity. I've been in the outdoor television business for a long, long time. Matter of fact, uh, so long that uh, uh, I'm looking at some of these new guys coming up, these new outfitters that I deal with and say, you know, they just look like kids to me. But these kids are gonna be superstars down the road. I look at Poth, and Poth is a, is a great young man. 
I mean, he has drive and passion as a guide. Uh, I haven't met any of the other outfitters or guides they have working for them, but if they are anything like this guy, I mean, you are missing out. These guys were a blast to have, and we're looking forward to having them back. If you are interested in a hunt or a fishing trip, give us a call. We have alligator hunts, hog hunts, duck hunts, fishing trips. Just call us, and we will meet all of your needs. You know, one of the things we've got to do is consider what we're going to do with these harvested hogs. You just can't let them lay out in the fields and rot. I would estimate that's probably about 1,800 to 2,000 pounds of pork. So we've had a pretty good night, but we're not done with the show yet. We're going to head back to the lodge and get a good night's sleep and then head out in the morning. And we're going to show you what we're going to do with these hogs. And I can promise you, you've never seen anything like it before. You know, it amazes me how some people think that uh, the animals that we kill go to waste when in fact, really, uh, nothing goes to waste. These animals right here are going to feed other animals. And that's what, that's the circle of life. I mean, uh, just because a human doesn't eat it doesn't mean that it's wasted. Nothing goes to waste in the wild.